Well, as we get closer to Christmas, you know, times can really get hectic as we try to get that last minute shopping all done. Well, and tonight in What's Cooking, a place where you can really unwind and get a tasty bite to eat as well. Our Sunrise anchor, Julia Moffat, heads to a place that's tucked away on the city's northeast side. I love books, but in a bar that also serves delicious food produced locally, one entrepreneur is doing just that right here in Indianapolis, and he's having great success. It's called Books and Brews, and it is the first one to pop up in Indiana. Let's go take a look. We're the mom and pop of the brewery world. This is the Merchant of Unity. Okay. It's a Belgian with apricots. This is the Rye IPA. Okay. This is, rye IPA. This is the Bourbon Barrel Porter. Today I have the Books and Brews, um, the smoked uh, stout, which is called the Darkens. Stormy Stout. We're excited about the idea. If you haven't been here in a month, you're going to come in and you're going to have five or six new beers to try. Owner of Books and Brews, Jason Warfel also enjoys pairing his brews with his specialty sandwiches using local products. Our big thing is that if we get really good local products, then we can't screw it up. So we get uh, amazing bread, amazing chips, um, and then of course uh, people from Indianapolis are very familiar with Smoking Goose and Fair Oaks Farms cheeses. So um, all that stuff also pairs really well with beer. Well, my favorite thing to eat is the Return of the King just because grilled cheese is one of the best foods you can possibly eat. Where are the TVs? I can't watch a sports game here. We kind of wanted to discourage people from their technology. The main point of this is to take away those distractions and have a place where people can come and connect to each other and not constantly you know, looking over your shoulder at a TV at a football game or, or whatever behind you or, or reaching for their phone. I actually come here pretty often for Wednesday night trivia. We just hope we can inspire people to be creative and get together. You know, that's why we do run the programming that we do. Um, we do everything from tabletop games to trivia to live music to open mic and promote the arts the best that we can. Grabbing a little peace and quiet during the hectic holiday season. A capicola. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, so a little spicy. As William Shakespeare wrote, for a quart of ale is a dish for a king. All about reading, conversation, and some good food. We're hungry. Julia says the books at Books and Brew are all used, and a portion of the sales go to Indie Reads. So where will Julia be next week for What's Cooking? She would love to hear your ideas about your favorite restaurant in town. Just send her your recommendations on our Facebook, Twitter, or even email Julia.